Hi everyone, it's Rena, and today I'm going to do a brief video of how to, um, how do you know what this called? What this would be called, but like linking the hair, um, the hair strands. Let's say you made like a belt or a ribbon, and you want it to be attached to your character's waist. How to link that and make it stay in the appropriate spot? So you need to have unity. Um, so let's go into that. All right, so someone had asked me this before, um, and they wanted to know how I did that with this character, Sanuda. Uh, I had made this character have like these little ribbons and have them flowing behind her as she's walking. And they're wondering how to prevent that section from like swaying left and right and only having it in their appropriate spot. So how I did that. You need to have Unity open. I'm using Unity version 2019 3.2. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say 3.2 F1. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's the version I'm currently using. Okay, so when you are exporting your character from Vroid, you need to make sure that you have um, enabled the hair bone material thing. I'll show a picture of what I'm talking about. You need to make sure that that has been enabled so that way when you click on your character, um, you can see all the different hair strands. So as you can see, I use quite a lot of them to make this character. And that just allows you to select each individual one. So when you're moving, I'm the uh, reorientating where these are positioned, you're going to need um, different add-ons. So obviously to get your viewer character into um, Unity, you need the VRM. I'll have a li uh, link in the description below of the different add-ons you would need. Once you have downloaded all the software and you have the VRM, you have uploaded your character and then you have the bone weight transfer. So then you're gonna select your hair um, strand uh, that you wanna move. So for example, this one. Um, not the whole body here. Yeah, this this one that was already selected. I don't know why I unclicked it and reclicked it. Yeah, that one. So then let's say I want to now pair this to her hip. Currently it has already done that. You're gonna find it in her um root. So you're gonna unfold all the stuff until you find that hair strand, like what number that one is. Um, and then you're gonna drag it. So let's say it would have been on her upper body. I'm just gonna move this like this so you can see it a bit more. So we're gonna go to spine and then it'd be on chest, upper chest, and then we have uh, neck and then head and then there is all the hair it's there. So then you would eventually click through until you find the one that it's referring to. Oops. And then once you find it, then you're gonna drag it to its new parent listing. So for example, you want to, let's say, move it to the hips. So then you're just grab this and then drag it up and then put it all the way up until you find hips. And then once you have done that, you can collapse this back. Then you're gonna find the same hair strand in um, this little pile here of hairs. There it is. And then you're gonna click on the tool uh, section where it has the bone weight. So this uh, function is all in Japanese, but basically you don't need to know Japanese because I'm gonna tell you which one is for what. So the first row here, I'm probably gonna put little uh, wordings over it too. So let me just make this a little easier for you guys to see. So you can focus just on this. So over here, the top row is the hair that you are working with. So the one that you wanna move. The second one here is gonna be the old parent. So what that means is like, what is it bracketed under? So for example, this one is originally bracketed under the head. So you would wanna put the head there. And then the third one is the new parent. So you're gonna put the hips 
Um, and then basically when you finish doing that, put all your little hair um, things. So basically it's literally just drag and drop. So you just do drag it. Uh, oops. And then blind and head. There you go. And then when you finish, press the save button and then it will save that. And then that's how you transport your hair strands to a specific placement on the body. And that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope that helped. All right, and so yeah, that's how you move things around. And <clears throat> if any of this has helped you at all, it'd be greatly appreciated if you press that like button because then that means that more people can see this and get some more help on creating their own VTubing characters or whatever they use these characters for because you can put them in video games and stuff like that or VR chat. Um, let me know what else you want to know or find out on how to do. I can probably see if I could create something that would be of interest. But other than that, we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye! Okay,